Alright then gang, so in the last video we saw that we could upvote these things, but only once, and if we try to do it again, then we get an error. Now I'd like to show that error in some kind of notification at the top, instead of just logging it to the console. So let's first of all go to the index.html and add in a little bit of HTML for this notification. It's just going to be a div with a class of notification. Alright, so let's just put some test content inside there save it and just make sure it shows up over here yeah we can see it right there so now we need to style this thing so I'm going to close a couple of these things and go to the CSS styles.css and then down at the bottom I'm going to do a comment to say notification and then in fact I'm just going to paste these styles in from my GitHub repo because there's no point in you watching me write these out but we have a width of 200 pixels for this padding of 20 pixels to give the text some room the position is fixed and that's so we can say from the left go 50 percent so halfway across so it's going to show in the middle but then the margin left is minus 120 pixels and that's to offset it to put it back in the center because if it starts at 50 percent from the left then it's going to go more to the right if that makes sense we need to offset it by half of the width of the whole thing and the width of the whole thing is 200 plus 20 pixels so 220 half of that is 110 actually so let's change that and then we're going to offset it by that amount from the top it's going to be zero so sitting right at the top the border radius in the bottom right and also the bottom left that's going to be five pixels and the background is kind of like a red color text aligned to the center the color of the text is white this thing right here I'm going to cut for now because we want to see it and then the transition is all and it's 0.4 seconds that's so when it comes up and down which we'll see in a second it's done smoothly rather than just straight away with a click of a finger so now what I'm going to do is save that and just preview this over here to make sure it looks okay and we need to shift preview I think but there's no styles so let's make sure we've spelt this correct notification no we didn't save that and now this should work okay so that is what the notification is going to look like now to control it going up and down what I'm going to do is if I just undo what I did right here, give this a margin top of minus 100%, meaning it's going to go entirely off the page altogether. So if I save this now, then refresh, then we shouldn't see it by default. Now, the thing is, when we want to show a notification, we're going to give this a class of active. And when that happens, we override the margin top to be zero. So if I just give this a class of active right here, save it and refresh then we should see it on the screen again so all we need to do in the javascript is toggle this on and off when we have a notification to show and we need to update the text content right here so i'm going to get rid of that text and also this thing right here because the styles we know are fine now all we need to do now is go into the app.js and i'm going to create a function that we can use whenever we want to show a notification so comments and notification and the first thing I'm going to do is grab a reference to this div over here, the notification div, so we can update it. So I'm going to store it in a constant and call it notification and set it equal to documents dot query selector. And it's the notification class. OK, so we have that. Now I'm going to create a function and this function is called show notification set it equal to an arrow function this is going to take in a message parameter that's the thing that we actually want to show in the notification and first of all we'll grab the notification this constant right here the reference to it and we want to change the text content of that to match whatever the message is that we send into this function next what we want to do is add the class of active to the notification so we can see it so let's say notification and then class list and we want to add a class and that is going to be the active class right there okay so let me just save that and now try and invoke this function when we get an error so i've copied that and i'm going to go to requests 
and then over here where we just log this to the console instead I'm going to invoke show notification and pass through the error message instead so that should invoke that function right here add the class of active to it and update the message inside it so we should see it on the screen if I save it, refresh over here, we shouldn't see it by default to begin with, but if I try to upvote something again and we can't do that, now we see this notification right here and that's pretty good. The only thing is, it doesn't go away. It's like an unwelcome guest. So we want to hide that after a few seconds. So let's go over here and update this function so that maybe after four seconds it hides it again. Now to do that we can use a set timeout. So set timeout and the function we want to fire, first of all, is going to hide this notification. So notification dot class list. We want to remove something. So dot remove, and we want to remove the active class. And we also want to set the text back to an empty string. So notification dot text content, and set that equal to an empty string. Okay, and we want to run this after 4,000 milliseconds, which is four seconds. So save that, let's refresh this again. And let's try it once more. We see the notification, but after four seconds, it should scarper and it does, awesome. So let's try it again. Yeah, we get the same notification. So this now is all working. And this notification system could be reused for different errors in the future. For example, if you had some other functionality and you wanted to show a different error, all you'd have to do is invoke this function right here and pass in whatever message you want to show.